Hey there, everyone. This is Alcat. <laughs> we it's my first time recording the Commodore 64 of all things. Apparently, there were still games made for it in 1994. So the Commodore is kind of a weird thing, cause I like you know like to make a, a game for like a Nintendo or a Sega console or whatever, like you need a license. Like there's a whole thing, but. The Commodore was always an open system, like anyone could make any program for it at any time. So I can kind of see that people would still be working on it. Anyway, so the game we're playing, Mayhem and Monsterland, was explicitly uh, made with the idea that, no, yeah, we should have a Sonic on a Commodore. So here we are. Uh, I'm using Hoxas HOXS 64 to play this, and yet another console emulating load time, so, uh, catch you when something happens. Whoa, we got garbage! Alright, something is somethinging. <laughs> Yeah! It's a trainer! So, fun fact, the trainer here stopped, made me very worried about being able to play this game. But that's not something to be worried for now. I can just press anything and we move on to this sweet purple screen. Uh, which is going to bring us to a choice soon enough. You see the three lights in the bottom left corner? Like, that wasn't part of the screen. Like, that lower lower row here is not part of the real game window. But we see the little lights that would be on the Commodore to show that the system is thinking. Alright, I guess we should intro. Press the I. There we go. That No, that's not the intro. We got some sweet statics. M no. <laughs> Are you allowed to just use the MTV logo like that? I'm starting to wonder how legit this is. Apex. Yeah, man. The production value these days, though. Very cinematic. Yeah! Happy sun! Look her down on her planes. This is a dinosaur game. Oh, this... Okay, so... The window I'm looking at right now is... Tiny. Uh, you guys get to see a beautifully up version. I'm not, and I mean, I can see fine, but because of the... Um, the the gradient on those letters, it's kind of really hard for me to read at this point. Here we go, though. Oh, I'm loving this song. It's such a bop. That's a really fat bird. The Balodactyl would not be able to fly. Andy Roberts did something! I would say what, but I couldn't read it at this size. Yeah, look at that mole! That's not a dinosaur, it's a Burrosaurus. I suppose sound is, or is it or? I think official name, you do Orus. I think. I don't know. Man, I'm just, this music just keeps being good. That, that's a sea cucumber with a face! The spiky Saurus. I don't think that's a real type of dinosaur. Might be a bootleg. Here we go! We're rumping, stomping, also eating all the mistletoe. That's a regular bird! It's not a dactyl at all. Well, kinda. Well, maybe. I guess we don't really know. Big as something is. Wow, look at that. Calling someone big. Ridiculous. You look like straight out of Adventure Island, little buddy. The Dragosaurus gonna drag you down. Yeah, that's right. Andy Smith, you've made some assistance of an additional flavor. Look at that little guy. <laughs> All right, Diplodocus. That's just a real one, but the, uh, I think Diplodocus is a bad name. It's been a while since I was up to speed on my Dino facts. Just not a five-year-old anymore. Bobo Dactyl. I don't think that's real. Bobo. Poor little Dactyl. Gone to something. Here we go. This is a long intro. Guess what character is our playing character? It's Mayhem! The Speedicus Maximus! He looks like a Sonic OC, alright. <laughs> Man, that guy's just blatant. 
Now we are on a blank screen. And last time I did this test, I was stuck here. I had to reset the whole thing, including all the loading. So see you guys somewhere in the future, please! Alright, so... Welcome to the part that stonewalled me when doing my initial test. So you press G for game. You get a surprise visit from missing no. And I was completely stuck on this trainer stage. So shout out to Roy, who... Roy Curbs, who managed to... Uh, figure out this puzzle so we're on a trainer all you have to do is on the option you press yes i want this or n well y or n no i don't want this that's it i want to play super normally and there we go loading Jellyland. we got a magic dust quota don't think about it too hard and also star quota which is significantly higher I don't really know what that means. We can see from the light that things are loading. Loading G Yeah! Finally! Title screen! Look at that, though. Well, it says 993 there, but you know what? Sometimes you got a date that doesn't reflect normality. That's fine! So, Mayhem in Monsterland. Here we go. Let's get this started. Okay, there we go. I found a button. J Mayhem go status sad. <laughs> right. So here we got Mayhem. You control using the numpad. So five and set and six. No four and six. And yeah, you jump with eight. You can duck. You can't spin dash. And uh, yeah. Here we are! I guess I'm looking- I got 10 magic. Whatever that means. 3 up, I got time, I got score. And I'm looking for magic dust? Did you have magic dust, little monkey? It's mine now, if you did. Uh, so, the music is pretty stressful. Oh, there's a star. Oh, that was a bad star, I think? Because, uh, yeah, now my 1-up meter is flashing. I'm guessing that's pain. Uh, all right, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going back. Okay, there, my magic. Okay, they get killed through the power of stars, uh, as you do. Um, if I have, whoa, I just pressed a button and it made everything stop for a second. Out on my keyboard. If anyone wants some? Okay, so there's a star. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm getting these. I cannot jump up through this, so I guess I'm just down here now? Um, good question. No, okay, you jump really high, it turns out. Alright. Alright, just activated magical sprinkle door for everyone who's interested. Okay, and here's this. I guess that's the end of going towards the left. Can I go in? Uh, I just pressed five, and I'm now here in hell with my friend the Stegosaur? Uh, have I? Oh, okay now. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, hey, status is happy. <laughs> What is happening? Alright, we're here now. Got a happy little dinosaur. I got 153 stars. Okay, my one up is OE. I get the feeling that even though I deactivated trainer cheats, I get the feeling that some of them stayed activated. And so, the reality is I feel like we might not get the real experience here. Which is unfortunate. Is that floor? It totally is. Oh, it's go up through floor. Said a monkey, it's a lizard. Now my score is flash times two. Look at that Borosaurus. You're now dead for true. I'm gonna get all these- No, it's because the star counter is backward. Okay, so you get all the things in one world, then in the other world, you get a new thing. Got it. Weird game. 
All right, so you still want to murder everything you encounter. There's a giant, massive star there. Can I get up there? I don't see how I would. Uh... Oh, you shot at me. That's really rude. I only got OD line. What is that little guy? He's just making big steps. Big steps guy. Okay, you know what? This controls a lot better than I feel like it should. I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised. Alright, yeah, okay, so get hit enough by that bird. And then it goes, Mayhem, go! Yeah, and I got OC. So yeah, I got unlimited lives, so I'm not gonna play until game over. But like, I feel like I'm getting a pretty good idea. This is honestly pretty good. I don't really know what Commodore 64 gaming is like. Like, I don't know if this is an exceptional game or like if this is run of the mill. It is extremely late in the console's lifespan. So, you know, by the time where people had a pretty good idea what they were doing. That bird. Uh, well, I'm good at video games sometimes. Mostly not. Destruction, though, of lives. Uh, that's a universal concept, unfortunately. You can't jump, like, higher than the top of the screen. So, it's like, how do you get past you? I'm not sure. Happy is my stat. It seems the hearts you get. So, you know, so just kind of keep on going. What happens if I press 5 again? See, now I press 5 and... Okay, so... They still snuck in to automatically complete the level button. Right in the middle of all your controls, though. That is not where I would put, put that. Like, it is ludicrously easy to just press by accident. Oh, I disagree with that, people who made this trainer. But, I mean, I gotta live with it. Like, that's fine. Now we get to just see this absolutely ridiculous long countdown because that's the world we live in. Yeah, so I mean, I'm assuming it needs a trainer to be able to play without putting in like, you see? It stands, it, this is lasting longer than it was ever programmed to be able... Then I pressed a button to make it keep going, which that's just weird. But uh, yeah, so we get an idea of what the game is, but everything I do now I just have to wonder, you know, what part of this is due to the trainer? What part of this is part of the feature? See, I'm with... I don't mind a crack screen, but beyond that, you know, this should just be a clear, play this game in its original way. And, but that's just not a thing. Like, I have I was given a file, I found another download that turns out was the exact same file. Well, exact same copy of the same file. I don't know if there's another version out there. But hey, now we got Pipe Land! Uh, such a random number, 231. Oh, it's loading though. I mean, but we got an idea of what this is. I feel like we spent more time on the loading and the little movie at the start. I love how you load up a sad version, though. Well, yeah, so I'd have to get all the magic, and then, you know, there's 11, and then I, I would press the button, and the dinosaur friend would go, hey, you press the button. But here I'm back to 10 lives. This is confusing. All right, well, see, it's, but there I went queer, but I didn't, like, get an, I didn't get an up on my counter. Oh, well. But, oh wow, these are massive pipes. When you say, whoops, that's a my massive not pressing the jump button in time. Alright, but we got like, this honestly is pretty rad and it's pretty different. I dig it. 